guys, Ashley here. Today we're gonna to be getting my planner set up for August. It's um, the last week of July, so it's time to start getting this baby set up for next month. And I'm gonna kinda of walk you guys through my process and what I'm doing and, and that sort of thing. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, um, my husband is mowing grass too, by the way, and he's gonna go right past the window and you guys are gonna hear him, so <laughs> just bear with me here. The first thing that I need to do is this, um, here is what I've been using for uh, to kind of plan my day out to block schedule and I need to add August into there and it come from this planner this is an 18 month planner so I will take August and we are just gonna pop it in there and then once July is completely done I will take it out and I'll put it back on its respective disc. And I'll do that for all of the planners that I'm adding in. Now this planner here, I actually don't decorate it. I just use it to um, block schedule my day and write everything out. So there's no decorating that goes on in here. I don't use the monthly in this one. So I just kind of leave it. Um, I think what I may actually do is take, um, let me get it here. My Tombow double-sided tape and I'm just gonna take these together because I'm not using this so there's no point in having an extra page to kind of go through so we'll just tape those together so there's that the next thing that I need to do is add July in. This is my vertical planner. This is my catch-all. And so um, I only have, or I need to add August in, not July. I only have July in here. So we are going to add August to this one. And I still have it on its disc. I don't have a cover on it. Actually, these are not the discs that I come on, um, but I don't have a cover on it because it's the cover I'm using. So we're going to go here and I like to keep a little tab up here for the current month that I'm on with this one. So we'll do that and we're just going to add August in there. And then this section here is my goal section and I'm actually going to, I talked about this in a previous video, but what I did is this here is from the Wild Child Companion Pack and then um, what I initially done was this was July, this was going to be my planner for everything, I was going to have literally one planner for everything except for fitness and faith. That didn't work out, I need multiple planners. Um, and initially I had glued these two pages, this one and this one together, but this is the July currently page for this one. And so um, what I'm gonna do now is this is from the Wrong Wrong Companion Pack and it's like a vision board. So I'm gonna glue these two pages together and then we're gonna move it. Actually, let's just go ahead and move it. I do apologize for the for the lawnmower, you guys hear it. Gotta get, gotta get the grass mode. So this is actually gonna go right here in front of my title page. So, I'm gonna pop that there. This one will go here. Right now this planner is pretty darn thick, but once I take out July, it'll get a lot thinner. This is a really cute page. I don't want to cover it up, but I do want this to be covered up. And I like the idea of having my vision board here. So that's why we're going to do that. Okay, so there's that section. That'll be right up front. And then we'll have my hourly, which again, July will come out of it when it's time. There will be August. This is my catch-all, so after my catch-all planner, I need to add in the next month. Let me pull these out. I was working on creating my spread for this week, so I had those in there, and um, that actually made it a little bit thinner. So, oh, I already added August, sorry. Okay, August is in here. The next planner is my dashboard planner. This is my social media planner. Um, and I already have August in here. And what I did for the monthly on this one is I already decorated it. And basically I did pre-planning before this video and I took sticky notes and I planned out 
the month and um, what I plan for here is I am a health and fitness coach so I plan for coaching stuff here I also plan for social media like YouTube goes here as well so what we are gonna do is we're gonna remove these sticky notes and we're gonna start filling this part in so on the 2nd and the 16th we have and the way I do this real quick tip if you guys use sticky notes to pre-plan put the date on the notes because I have before taking these off, I've set them to the side and then I get confused and I'm like, what date was that supposed to go on? And it just becomes a mess. So always write the date on there so you don't forget. I've done that before and it's just, it's a pain in the butt. So I, like I said, I did go ahead and decorate this beforehand just to kind of save some time. But the second and the 16th, I have progress photos due for my um, health and fitness clients. Let's actually take these pages out to write. I do better when they're not in there. These little blocks here, the little smaller ones, those are for my team calls. I have two team calls every week. On Mondays and Thursdays. On Mondays, the team call, we talk about health, fitness, nutrition, weight loss, goals, all of that stuff and then on Thursdays is actually where my team and I get together and we have a planner session. So we just get on there, we chat, we um, plan for the next week or you know whatever we need to plan for. And it's a good time. We laugh, we always have fun. This is definitely not my best handwriting. On the 26th is one of the girls on my team. It's her birthday, so we are gonna put that down. And then, whoops, we gotta do this one. These bigger blocks are for YouTube videos, and I have some of them already planned out. Some of them are gonna be blank because I don't I don't know for sure yet what I want to post. So we're actually just going to take the blank ones out and set them to the side and we'll, we'll fill in these other ones here as we go. Alright, so there's my YouTube schedule for the month so far. I do have a few, um, one, two, three, four, five more videos that I need to get planned out. Um, some of these I wrote, which I don't even know if you guys can see that. I wrote um, on phone or phone because I have the notes actually on my phone for what, what that video is about. Um, I, I probably need to do a video and show you guys how I plan out my YouTube videos. That's something that I'm actually, I've actually been very terrible at doing. I'm trying to get better at that because it does help so so much with uh creating videos so I'm, I'm working on that but i um maybe i'll do a video in the future showing you guys how i plan this out um as far as this goes this is this is what i have planned so far for august as things come up as things change obviously i'll add stickers remove stickers whatever needs to happen over here is just um a general checklist of things that i need to get done which i i don't have filled in yet but um i'll do that as we go as well so there's august inside of my social media planner So we'll pop that one back in. The next thing we're gonna do is my fitness planner. And the way I've been doing this is I took those happy notes and I'm using the dividers out of here for each month. So this one I created for August and I've actually been creating my own spread. So this was August or July, I'm sorry. And um, I created a monthly spread. I set some July goals. And then each week I started to create my own spreads and it's been working out fantastically. So that's exactly what we're gonna continue doing. We're gonna leave all of this in here for now because that is still the current month. We'll add this one to it. And I need to get some stickers and put the month on here. And I think there's some inside of these handwritten plans. Yes, okay, so we need July and August. So we'll just pop July on there. And 
then this one will pop August on there. And then what I do to the back of this divider I don't use the pages from this Happy Notes because they're blue. Um, I mean, I could, there's nothing wrong with them being blue, but I don't use them for um, fitness stuff. So they just stay in here and I use them for notes and different things like that. But what I like to do is take one of these dot grids, dot grid note pages, and I will glue it down to this. That way my calendar will be on this page. I gotta get a new one. Okay, here we go. I got a new one. And then I'm not gonna make you guys watch it, but I will sit down and um, I'll create a calendar on here just like I did for this one. I'll create a calendar and then I'll set some goals for August and that'll be set up and each week um, it just kind of depends on what kind of note paper I want to use. So I don't add the weeks in here until the week gets here. So it'll just be the monthly page. And then as the weeks come, I will add those in. The next thing that we are going to set up is my faith planner. And it actually comes from this Coastal Vibes planner, which used to be my, um, I used to use this for nursing school. And I started using it now for faith. So if we go here. Oh no, tell me I have August for this. June, July, and then it goes to September, and I'm pretty sure um, I swapped out. Yep, there it is. This would have been August of 2020, which would have been for this year, and I remember changing it for June of 2019 so I could start using the planner early. So, what are we going to do for that? <laughs> um... I don't know. I don't know right now if I'm being honest. I am, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it the way it is for now and I'm gonna figure out something else. There's a couple of stickers sticking out here. I'm gonna leave it for now and then I'll figure out something else. But the way I've been using this is um, basically as a, as a way to journal for my Bible studies. Um, I really love the horizontal layout for that. I don't have another horizontal planner that's empty, I don't think. But I will double check and um, I will fix this once I'll figure out what I'm doing once I figure out well I'll figure out what I'm doing once I figure out what I'm doing so we're gonna leave that for now now one more thing that I need to do is get August set up inside of my catch-all planner and this will be here so I actually have a pre-planning sheet here that I started to write some dates down on we honestly don't have a lot going on so um, I'm just gonna decorate this and I'll add those few things in there I grabbed some washi tape and I'm going to use this layered floral sticker book to decorate this one. This will be more of a decorative one. So like my social media is more of a functional type spread. This will be more decor. So um, I'm going to decorate this and then I'll add in that other stuff with it. Actually, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this washi here. I'm actually going to add the dates first instead of decorating it. Okay, the 7th, 8th, and 9th, my husband is off work. So I like using washi for things that are longer than like a day or two. Whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. He's also off work on the 15th. So there's that. The 11th is one of my best friend's birthdays, so we're going to put this here, or the 10th. And then my mama's birthday is the 11th. And I think for that I want to use this. 
need a monthly one, don't I? Actually, let's not do that because I don't want to cover up the date and have to redate it. We will do this one. Levi potentially starts school on the 18th. Let's get one of the teacher sticker books. And let's see if there's something school related there that I can do for that. Okay, there's not one in here. Let me go through and find a sticker in one of my other student or teacher ones and see if I can find something to put there. So I couldn't find one that actually says first day of school, but in this Cool to Be Kind sticker book, there's these boxes that have um, pencils on them, and I think I'm gonna use one of those to note that. And I said that was the 18th, right? So. We will stick that right there. Yes, cool. Okay, and now we will start decorating this a little bit more. So now what I'm gonna do for the days that he's off work is this is the bright sticker book and I'm gonna use it to note that. There are some of these fun little long stickers. So then we will start filling this in. Okay, so there's that, and then this over here will just be a general checklist. I think what I'm actually going to do really quickly is I'm gonna take this Sharpie and we're gonna make a checklist down through here. You will have to get school supplies and school clothes for that if he does start school. So there's that. And we'll add that back in. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is chunky. I do love me a good chunky planner though. So there's that. And then one more thing that I'm gonna do is I 
was gonna add some more note pages in here, but um, I may end up waiting. Well, let's go ahead and do it. This is a block pad from the Happy Planner and I wanna add a couple of these in there. I use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of note paper. So I like having a bunch of it back here. Here's another block pad that I have and I wanna add a couple of these in as well. Okay, so let's do a quick little walkthrough of this. We have sticky notes up here. We've got the name page. My goals section is here. We've got this section here. These two months, July and August, are for block scheduling, planning out my day. We've got July and August in my catch-all. We have July and August in my social media and coaching planner. We have July and some of August in uh, my fitness planner and then just July in my faith planner because again, I don't know what to do there. And then this here is my notes section of notes that I've already completed. There are different things that are already filled out, ready to go. And then I have this note section, which is just blank paper that I use. And I have, I mean, this right here is a big chunk of my planner. And then we've got our folder with some stickers, put a pen loop back on here. And that is that I will figure out what I'm going to do for my faith planner, whether it's going to be a vertical. I have some verticals. I have, I don't think I have another horizontal, but I'm going to look and I'm going to see if maybe I do. But for now, this is going to be my setup, getting things ready for August. Once July is finished, I will do a July flip through. We'll take out the July months. I'll put them back on their respective discs. And then um, that'll be it and we'll continue to do this. Hopefully I will keep up with this process because I really love showing you guys my setup. Normally I just sit down, I just do it and I never even think about it. But look, we already have it in the works here. So September planner setup. I've got a plan for it, you guys. Y'all hold me accountable to that. <laughs> so that is my setup, you guys. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to ask. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, come hang out with me on Instagram, and I'll see y'all in the next video.